In this video, revealing a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how to sell on Amazon FBA for complete beginners and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so sign up for it now. So, one of the reasons why I wanted to get started in Amazon FBA was because I just wanted more freedom in my life, right? Like, I saw like what my parents did and work a nine to five job their entire life, how it was so stressful, how they were always fighting about money, how they were this close to the divorce because they were always fighting about our financial situation. And I just realized, Okay, number one, a nine to five job is probably not gonna save me. And number two, I really need to find a way to create passive income online. My only problem was I did not have any money, nor I did not have any skills. And every single other business out there seemed very, very, very difficult. But then of course I heard a thing like Amazon FBA and I saw people making like six figures a year to even six figures a month and I was like, whoa, if I could even just get a fraction of that, that would change my life. And that's what you guys gotta understand. There are certain ways that are actually very low risk to start making money with Amazon FBA, where you can literally start making $100 a day fast, and then use that to then scale it to the next level, which would ultimately be building a brand that is sellable, right? Like, I literally live here in Bali, right? Bali is amazing because I interview a lot of people. Like, for example, this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million, and this guy that makes a million dollars from the profit. And I've also interviewed a lot of people that made a lot, a lot of money with Amazon FBA. And most of the money they said they made was when they sold the Amazon FBA business later, later on. Right, but the problem with most people, when they get started in Amazon FBA, is they think that they need to do that first. They're like, oh, here's this crazy business with this huge operation and so much inventory and all these things and a lot of money and a line of credit that they have to do to run this business. But little do they know that there's actually baby steps that you could get there, very, very low risk, not needing any money whatsoever when you first get started that could safely but surely allow you to scale to your first $100 a day, then your first $5,000 a month, then your first 30 grand a month, then your first you know, six-figure month, right? But like I said, people, like swing for the fences. That's what my mistake was. I was like, oh, I wanna build a brand. I wanna sell something. So I immediately took like a credit card, bought a bunch of, of products from China, shipped them over to Amazon, and I lost a bunch of money, guys. I'm telling you this right now. If you are rash, if you like kind of like are too fast, if you don't kind of like take into consideration the certain risks that are potentially available to you and how to circumnavigate those risks so you do not lose money, it will literally save you so much time and heartache. So do not make the same mistake as me and start, like I said, start with baby steps. So what are the baby steps? Understand this, when it comes to making money on Amazon, it's all about learning a certain set of skills compared to the risk associated to it. So obviously you don't wanna just go ahead to China, buy thousands of dollars worth of products and then start selling them on Amazon because number one, you don't have what it takes yet to go against your competitors. And number two, you probably don't have the cash flow. I didn't, right? So what did I do when I first got started? Number one, I just had to see if I could sell something on Amazon. Because if I can't sell one product on Amazon, what makes me think I could sell 100 or 1,000 units, right? So if I was just getting started again several years ago, if I was gonna get started again today, what I would do is just first see if I could sell one product. Because guys, what people don't understand is they try shooting for the fences. They think they're gonna get rich off of one, like one product idea and make millions of dollars, but then they throw it up on there and they can't even sell one product. That's what I did over and over again. I tried selling dog leashes, like I'm gonna go crazy with this, and I couldn't even sell one. So if I couldn't sell a thousand, like if I can't sell one, I can't sell a thousand. Does that make sense? So what would be the easiest way to do this with no experience and no money whatsoever? Very simple. Let me just go ahead and download the Amazon seller app. Now what we did back in the day after church on Sundays is we would go to Walmart, me and my dad, and we would just go to Walmart and scan all the things in the clearance aisle. Why is that? Because what would happen is this app will essentially tell you what you could sell on Amazon, right? Which Amazon will fulfill it and do all the hard work and see if you could actually go ahead and profit. Because we already were hearing stories that there was literally people going to like even Costco taking these apps and they're selling like these red lobster biscuit containers from for example, Costco. And they're just shipping them over to Amazon. Amazon does like the shipping and handling and the FBA-ness, right? And they'll do all the customer service. And then they start getting passive income from this. There's even someone in our community that make nearly half a million dollars in a single year in revenue just doing this method, right? And the thing about this is it starts increasing your belief, right? You don't have to do all the complicated stuff. You don't even have to create your own listing, which is one of these things. Essentially how this works is if I literally click on any one of these things, right? You'll see that there's literally somebody going in and selling it here. And they have all of these things already uh, going for sale, right? Um, but what you guys are gonna understand 
is if you have something similar to this, instead of you having to create your own listing, instead of you having to worry about reviews, which is hard, right? Instead of you having to doing all these things, if you have something that's similar to sell, you could just sell, oh, have one to sell, sell on Amazon, and then you could kind of share the buyer's box with all these other people that are also selling through Amazon FBA, does that make sense, right? So what happens is when they go out of stock with this one, it literally sells the next one in this little buyer's box. So just like that, what you could actually do is take this app, go to Walmart, go to you know like Costco, whenever there's a clearance, go ahead and scan this app, try buying one or two or three things, ship them over to Amazon, Amazon will start doing the fulfillment, and once you start making sales, you start realizing, okay, well I could actually start selling, this actually makes sense. What you could actually even do with this, is start like building up an initial cash reserves of like a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks, three thousand bucks, right? To then go into the branded Amazon FBA. Does that make sense? So that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people did, especially in our community. Before they sold their company for millions, before they even had money to go ahead and invest in inventory, they just downloaded the Amazon seller app, which is free. They went over to Costco and Walmart, they scanned a bunch of things, and they literally did a little bit of small flips. Right, a little bit of small flips. They bought something for like five bucks, they sold it for 10 bucks. They bought something for 10 bucks, they sold it for like 20 bucks. And they started building up the cash reserves where it wasn't their own money that they, they would then put in the next brand. So just doing this alone could decrease your risk like crazy and increase your confidence and belief that Amazon FBA does actually works. The second thing that you can actually go ahead and do once you actually do this is sign up for merch by Amazon.com. This is a free way to sell via Amazon FBA where they'll do the shipping and handling through Prime, but you could earn monthly royalties. Because now what this will allow you to do, which give you the second level, and that's learn how to rank on Amazon, right? Now how do you rank on Amazon? It's very simple. When I type in the word like, for example, cat t-shirt, do you see all these things that pop up? These are things that people are essentially searching for on Amazon, meaning, Amazon's business model is actually a search engine. It's like Google. And if I could rank for this by putting this in the title of my, for example, you know, product, and uh, like sporadically throw a bunch of these other related keywords into the description, kind of like how these people sporadically put you know keywords into the description right here, I could literally start learning this for free. Like, look at this. If I type in "cat T-shirt for women funny," if so, if I buy this, right? If you created this and I buy this, Amazon will do the shipping, handling, and customer service. So it's all Prime, all FBA but they'll just pay me or pay you passive income and royalties without you having to do all the hard work. It's free, it's free guys. You don't need any inventory. Amazon has millions of t-shirts. They'll do the shipping handling. They'll print the designs on you for free, right? So imagine this, your goal then is to figure out how you could rank for this. So how could you rank for this? Number one, the title that literally is shown here needs to be in your title. Number two, you need to go ahead and rank for something that doesn't have too many reviews. If you see on the first page was like, for example, like I was gonna try to sell grill mats, right? This was one of my Amazon FBA products. This would be a horrible idea now because some of the first ones are 18,000 reviews. Obviously, if I have no money and no experience, it would be hard to go against these, right? And imagine if I spent my own money or a credit to go ahead and get thousands of dollars worth of grill mats to go ahead and sell this. I would be out of luck because now I would have lost a lot of money. But instead, imagine if I went against something that had a bunch of reviews and I realized I couldn't sell. Then I know deep down that I couldn't sell, but I didn't have the risk of inventory because I'm using Merch by Amazon, right? So what I would look for when I would search for things is look for keywords that have very little reviews on the first page because then I would put that in the title. Let's try Beagle Gifts. Look at this, Beagle Gifts for Women. So this might be a little bit different because now there's not too many t-shirts so there's less competition. Here's one t-shirt that's 100 reviews. But look at this, this review is only 91 reviews. This one's 131 reviews. This one has no reviews, 24 reviews, nine reviews. So this title, is a lot less competitive, meaning I could go ahead, put a design up on merch site uh, by Amazon.com, go to Pinterest, type in like, for example, a beagle design or a cat design, like cat t-shirts, take a cat t-shirt concept, right, and turn it into beagles, like look at this, my fitness level is beagle, it means I'm lazy, and I could go to Upwork, hire a graphic designer, come over here, locations, type in the word Philippines, do hourly rate less than ten dollars an hour below, and I'll get somebody to create a bunch of these designs for literally seven dollars an hour, and just upload them on Merch by Amazon Agam, and then you could go ahead and, for example, start selling them. And that, what does this do now? Right, the first one was allowing you to build belief and maybe initial cash flow, maybe your first thousand bucks in savings, two thousand bucks. It's going to help when you actually launch your brand. The second one is now teaching you a very valuable skill, and that's learning how to an analyze your competitors and how to start ranking for certain keywords. Right, once you start getting a grasp on that and you start making extra money, not only did it do that and teach you that, but it also taught you how to hire from Upwork. That would lead us to the third step 
of making money on the Amazon FBA, and that is finally signing up to become an Amazon seller. Now understand this, becoming an Amazon seller takes $39 a month. The previous ways you could get started for free. I was stupid and I accidentally just started signing up for this and paying $39 a month before actually having all of like my inventory ready. So I essentially paid three months of this for no reason when I should have just waited. Does that make sense? So don't do this and sign up until you have a product ready. So again, right, this is the ultimate way to make money with the Amazon FBA because then you can sell it. Do not sign up for this until you actually have a working product ready and you have the skill sets. Now you're probably wondering, well, how could I find the products? Well, again, remember you want to go ahead and type things in onto Amazon and if things are shown that, you know, like, like people are looking for them and on the first page, there's not that much reviews. That's what I would go for. Where I would get ideas from is maybe AliExpress. I would come in a, over to AliExpress and see like, for example, what products I could go out and sell, pick one of these categories, right? Then I would go to like, for example, any one of these categories and type in orders. So here are pet products and orders and now see what are the most popular one. Look at this. This is 25,000 have been sold. This sweater, 15,000 have been sold. This one, you know, 15,000 have been sold. This one, 14,000 would be sold. So these would be good Amazon FBA idea products. I would literally just take this, right, and throw it into Amazon to see what are the reviews. Look at this, and, um, uh, cat bird toy, right? Let's see exactly. If there's a lot of reviews, I probably wouldn't do this. Look at this. I probably wouldn't do this because there's too many reviews. Again, I would go through all these categories and literally copy and paste it all the way back to Amazon and see what are the reviews like. If there's way too many reviews, don't go after that, it's too competitive. Another place that I would go to is watchcount.com. They have all these categories, they find out what's the most popular on eBay and then you could just go ahead and sell it on Amazon. The reason why I succeeded in, for example, like e-commerce is because I just took what's popular on one platform and I moved it over to another platform where there was no competition. And you can see here's just jewelry let me scroll down. There's so much jewelry, like look at this. This turquoise heart necklace. So let's just try that. Go over here, turquoise heart necklace. Let's see what are the reviews here. Is it a lot of reviews, is it a little? You can see now, 23 reviews, 15 reviews, 24 reviews, so it's a lot less. So you can see that it's, it's, a, it's a little bit more of an idea to go ahead and actually go in and you know, start, for example, making money with this. The next step what I would do is then go to Alibaba and try to find you know, uh, the actual product, right? This is where you go ahead and find the actual product. You could go ahead and, and, and um, make, like, uh, make like a deal with them. What I would do when I would go ahead and search one of these is I would make sure you would click all of these because it would make sure that you have the highest quality supplier. Now when you go ahead and do this, you chat now and you ask for uh, like a sample because you wanna know what the product quality is, right? Product quality is really important because if it sucks, you're gonna get a bunch of returns. Now this is what I do when I get the sample. If I like it, immediately what I would do is I actually got my sister to start taking pictures of it. When I started getting more advanced, I would go to Fiverr or Upwork and hire some person to take even professional pictures on it. Why? Because then I could have the pictures ready to then put it on my own listing. Does that make sense, right? Um, I can literally go to Fiverr, hire someone to go ahead and do it. I could go and uh, go to Upwork, hire it and do it. But, but the initial thing is time is of the essence. So if I like the sample size and I like it's good and I know it works, then I don't have to wait for everything else. I can already start taking pictures of it and get ready for the next step. Um, once it starts really working really well, I would order maybe 100, 200 units at most why? Because of the fact that it could be really risky. What if you can't make any sales? What if you can't do really well with that? Then you lost a bunch of money. That's what I ended up doing. I, I lost so much money because I bought way too much products way off the bat, right? And it really helps is if you also master the previous methods because also you got cash flow from like the seller app as well as like the merch by Amazon.com. Once you actually have the product, right? It's branded. You've hired the people from Upwork or Fiverr to go ahead and help you with the branding. It's so cheap and it's so easy to go ahead and do this. And now it's on Amazon. Right? You understood how to rank for it because you practiced with Merch by Amazon.com. What is the next goal? The next goal, and this is probably the least, least fun way, is you need to beg your friends and family to buy it and leave a review. That's literally what I did. Like, I, like at the end of the day, you make sales because of social proof. You get social proof because you make sales. But how can you get sales if you have no social proof? You have to create social proof in the beginning. So every single holiday, I would literally grab all these things and be like, hey guys, can you buy this for me? I'm trying to pay for my college education. I told them my why, I told them my reason. They're like, yeah. They would buy it, they would leave a review. You need to do that until you get your first 25 reviews, guys. This by far is the hardest because if you don't have any reviews, no one's gonna buy things. There's expensive services, like for example, what I did, there was this thing called a Zonblast where I had to pay them $700 to launch my products to a bunch of people, right? But that costs a lot of money. 
If you're just beginning, the first 25, you literally need to go friends and family and have them buy, beg for a view. And at that point, what essentially happens is you're gonna start ranking, they're gonna start buying, it's gonna help you start ranking in the algorithm, you already know how to rank for it because you practice with Merch by Amazon.com, and then you start getting consistent sales. Now what you wanna do is you wanna get to the point where you take profit, and when you take the profit, you hire the people to go out and help you. The first one that I would, help, that, that I would need is go and type in Amazon PPC. These people will help you run advertising campaigns. You can see there's really good people that will only work with you even $5 or $10 an hour. That will start increasing the sales for that one product. Then when it hits a max, you then start taking a profit and then doing it to another product. And you continually launch more and more products. And that's exactly how to make money step by step when you have no money selling on Amazon FBA. But of course, if you want a faster and easier way to make money online with e-commerce, where people are even going from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks like Dina, a stay-at-home mom, with no money, no time, and no experience, and without actually having to have their own product, then sign up for this week's free workshop below, because it's literally the fast and easiest way to make money with e-commerce. I mean, people are going from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, even like in Chile, where the average income is $500 a month. If you wanna get a bunch of free bonuses as well, then sign up for this week's free workshop below, where we are literally gonna hold your hand in this brand new method. As well, check out this video and this podcast video. See you guys later, woo!